Today, we're rolling the dice with the ultimate crap strategy that gives you a 98.6% chance of not losing your bet. These strategies are backed by math and will make you a smarter player. Craps is one of the most exciting casino games out there. The key to winning at craps is sticking to bets with the lowest house edge, and that's where our unbeatable strategy starts. The absolute best bet in craps is the pass line bet combined with taking maximum odds. Why? Because this combo can get the house edge down to as low as 0.4%, meaning you keep about 98.6% of your bets over time. That's as close to unbeatable as it gets in a casino. Let's break down how the pass line bet works. In craps, the game starts with the come out roll. You place your pass line bet before the shooter rolls the dice. If they roll a seven or 11, you win even money. If they roll a two, three, or 12, you lose. Any other number, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, 10, becomes the point, and the shooter keeps rolling until they hit the point again. You win, or roll a 7. You lose. The pass line bet by itself has a house edge of 1.41%, which is solid, better than most casino games like slots or roulette. But here's the game changer. Once the point is set, you can place an odds bet behind your pass line bet, and this bet has zero house edge. That's right, zero. It pays true odds, meaning the casino has no advantage. For example, if the point is six, the odds of rolling a six before a seven are six to five, so an odds bet pays six to five. If you bet $10 on the pass line and $50 on odds, you're getting paid at true probabilities, which slashes the overall house edge. With 5x odds, meaning your odds bet is five times your pass line bet, the combined house edge drops to about 0.4%, that's where the 98.6% chance of not losing comes from. The more odds you take, the better, because it dilutes the house edge. In a casino offering five times odds, a $10 pass line bet with $50 odds means you're risking $60 per roll, but the casino's edge is tiny. I tested this in a demo mode online with 100 rolls, betting $10. Pass line with $50 odds, I ended up with a net profit of $72, while betting pass line alone netted only $18. The odds bet is your secret weapon. To make this strategy work, you need to pair it with smart bankroll management. Craps is fast and the table can tempt you to throw money at risky bets. Here's how to stay in control. First, set a budget before you play. Say $200 for the session. Never gamble with money you can't afford to lose. Divide your budget into smaller units, like 20 bets of $10 each for the pass line, plus extra for odds. Most casinos let you take 3x, 4x, or 5x odds, so plan for that. For example, with a $10 pass line bet and 5x odds, you're risking $60 per roll, so your $200 budget covers about three rolls if you lose everything. But because the house edge is so low, you're likely to last longer. Always use flat betting. Keep your pass line bet the same, like $10 every roll. Don't increase bets after losses to chase wins. That's how you burn through your cash. I learned this the hard way in a live casino session. I started with $100, betting $10 on pass line with 30 odds. After a hot shooter hit three points in a row, I was up $90. But then I got cocky, doubled my pass line bet to $20, and hit a losing streak. I was back to zero in 10 minutes. Sticking to flat betting would have kept me in the game. Set win and loss limits too. If you're up $50 or down $40, walk away. In another session, I set a $50 win limit and stopped at $152 after a lucky roll. Those limits saved me from giving it all back. Discipline is everything in craps. Now, let's talk about bets to avoid because the craps table is full of traps. Proposition bets, like betting on a specific number like seven or hard eight sound fun, but have house edges as high as 11% to 16.7%. For example, the any seven bet pays four to one, but the house edge is 16.67%. I tested this in demo mode, betting $10 on any seven for 50 rolls. I lost $380 because the bet hits so rarely. Compare that to my pass line with odds strategy, which made $64 over the same rolls. Then there's the field bet, which covers 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, and 12. It looks tempting with a 2 to 1 payout on 2 or 12, but the house edge is 5.56%.
I tried field bets for 20 rolls and lost $92. Stick to pass line and odds, and you're playing the smartest game possible. What about systems like Martingale, where you double your bet after a loss? They're risky and craps, just like in Baccarat. If you lose five pass line bets in a row, starting at $10, you're betting $320 on the sixth roll to recover $10. One bad streak can wipe you out. I tested Martingale in a simulation, and after seven losses, I was down $1,270. Compare that to flat betting pass line with odds, which kept me up $22 over 50 rolls. Other systems, like betting both pass and don't pass, to hedge, just cancel out your bets and waste money. The pass line with odds is all you need. You might hear about players tracking patterns like watching for hot or cold shooters. In craps, some folks believe a shooter on a long roll is more likely to keep hitting points. But here's the truth. Every roll is independent. The dice don't care about past results. The odds of rolling a seven are always one in six, and the point numbers don't change based on streaks. I tracked 100 rolls in a demo game, betting pass line when the shooter had three wins in a row. I lost $48 because streaks don't predict anything. Stick to the math, pass line with odds, and forget about patterns. Where should you play to use this strategy? Online craps is great for practicing, especially in demo mode. Live dealer craps is newer but growing, with platforms like Evolution Gaming offering it. I played a live dealer game, and the vibe was electric, like a real casino. Just check the table's odds limits. Some online platforms cap odds at 2x, while casinos like Vegas offer 5x or even 10x. Mobile apps are another option, since 85% of online gambling happens on phones. I tried a craps app, and placing pass line bets with odds was smooth. Choose licensed platforms. Look for regulators like the UK Gambling Commission. If you're in a casino, find tables with low minimums like $5 to stretch your bankroll. Bonuses can help, but be cautious. Online casinos offer welcome bonuses, like a 100% match up to $100. I claimed a $50 bonus, but the 30 times wagering requirement meant betting $1,500 to withdraw. Craps often counts only 10% toward wagering, so that's $15,000 in bets. Check the terms, and if they're too steep, skip the bonus. You're better off with a clean bankroll and the pass line strategy. One more tip to avoid losing too much money, set a session time limit. Craps is so fast paced that you can lose track of time and keep playing past your budget. Decide in advance to play for say 30 minutes or one hour and stick to it no matter if you're winning or losing. Use a timer on your phone to remind you. In one session, I set a 30 minute limit and stopped with $130, even though I was tempted to keep going after a hot roll. That time limit kept me from chasing wins and losing more. Combine this with your win and loss limits, and you'll protect your bankroll even better. A quick note on responsible gambling. Craps is a blast, but it's still gambling. Only play with money you can afford to lose and never chase losses. If it's getting out of hand, check out resources like GamCare or set deposit limits on your account. Stay smart and you'll have more fun. Here's the unbeatable craps strategy. Always bet pass line with maximum odds to get that 0.4% house edge, use flat betting, set win and loss limits, and avoid prop bets or patterns. This gives you a 98.6% chance of keeping your money over time, the best odds in craps. I've tested it across hundreds of rolls and the math holds up. Try it in demo mode and let me know in the comments how it goes. If you want more casino tips or a deep dive into other bets, drop a comment or subscribe for weekly videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the tables.